In this video, we are talking all about how to pose a bride. So I'm gonna start you off with some basics, some rules, ways to make anyone look more flattering and the best they possibly can. And then we're gonna break all those rules. Thanks so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So we have Juliana here and I'm putting her in nice, easy light. So we don't have to think about that too much. When you're photographing a bride, you usually press for time. So nice, easy light. What we have is a good backlight on her that's really gonna show off some nice hair light. And then I have her specifically standing on a white surface. So that's gonna bounce up light right in her face so I don't have to use a reflector all the time. Very, very helpful. I might pop out my reflector anyway when I do some close-ups of her. But for the main, main shots that we're gonna get, this is a pretty good lighting situation. I'm using my Canon. EOS R5 and I've got a 50 millimeter 1.2 lens on here. This is a great lens to start photographing a bride because you're going to be able to get in nice close and far away medium shots and a lot of details. Something to remember when you are photographing a bride, your goals are to go wide, make sure you get a full length, medium, and then do a lot of close ups. Ultimately, which you will see later in this series, you want to be able to take these photos and sell multiple pages, multiple spreads in the album. But that's not going to happen if you're just photographing the same thing with the same angle over and over. We want to think about the story, think about wide, medium, tight, and doing circles around her. So let's just start off with the basic pose that we can get her in, and then we'll start shooting. So what we'll do, Juliana, and this is how I recommend, by the way, you do this, you want to mirror your client so that they can very easily see what it is you're trying to get them to do. A lot of talking is nice, but that might not help. So what I want you to do, you're just going to lean on one leg. Perfect. This knee is going to come in a little bit that way. So what this does is start give her, giving her a nice curve. You can actually tilt a little bit more this way. Maybe move your feet a little bit. Yes, there we go. And then your shoulders are going to come back towards me. And now what we've done, right off the bat is just given her what's called an S curve. And that's just going to help the entire body have a good base. And then you can start moving around anything you want up top. But let's get that kind of traditional basic pose first. You want to hold your flowers two hands in front first. And it's really important to remember to have them hold it down. Go ahead and hold them up like this. If they hold them up like this, all the detail in the dress on top is, is just going to go to waste. You're not going to see it. And that's really what they paid for in the dress. So go ahead and lower them down. Bring them up a little bit like this. This is probably what most people do. They just have a, a right angle, which is not super graceful. It's a little bit more of a strong pose and it's still hiding a lot of the detail. So go even lower right to here. Go all the way down. So you straight arm. This is another no-no where you have a straight arm and there's no light coming in from either side. That's going to make her look a lot wider than she is because instead of seeing the waist end here, it seems like it ends all the way out here. So go ahead and bend just a little bit. Perfect. And a little bit less and then bring your elbows back as much as you can. Good. So now we have a little bit lower, nice and low. We see all the detail and we have these little pockets of light coming through on either side of her that's going to accentuate her waist. Now she looks nice and graceful because her arms are at that obtuse angle. Now we can start taking some pictures. In case you haven't already heard about today's video sponsor, Squarespace, let me tell you some of my favorite features. I've used Squarespace for a ton of different websites, my photography website, e-commerce website, selling photography education, and I've even designed my dad's band website. And it's all done in just a few clicks because Squarespace has really wonderful design templates for any type of style that you can imagine. And they're all clean, professional, and really easy to use. Now, if you're a photographer like I am and you are always on the go, updating your website tends to be the thing you put on the back burner. Well, with Squarespace's app, you can upload new photos to your website right from your mobile device, making sure that your photography work that is showcased is up to date at all times. Now, Squarespace isn't just about building a website. Yeah, it does that. And it's great. It also goes one step further into the workflow management of your business, including sending invoices, calendar scheduling, accepting payments, you name it, Squarespace probably does it. Now, if you head to the link in the description below, you're going to get an extra 10% off. So make 
make sure you take advantage of that try out Squarespace and see how easy it is to create a website, manage it, throw anything you want on there and showcase your business as best as it can be. Now back to the video. All right, let's get my settings here first. I am shooting very shallow. That is my style. So that's what we're going for. All right, so you're going to look at me first. Good. Big bridal smile. Nice. Look off that direction. Gorgeous. Then look down at your flowers. Wonderful. Now we have all those great shots. Now I'm just going to take a few steps in and we'll do it again. Looking at me. Beautiful. Look, and then look off there and giggle. Laugh at your future over there. There you go. <laughs> and look at me again. Beautiful. Love that. So stay looking down at your flowers. Now that you have those basics out of the way, start moving around. So she's going to look down at her flowers. I'm going to come in. I'm going to get the detail on her floral bouquet on the bottom all that ribbon there. These are all decisions that she's made about her wedding. So we want to photograph them. I'm going to get some nice close-ups on the actual flowers. I'm also going to go around and look at all the detail on the veil. Get nice close-ups of all of that. And at a nice shallow depth of field, it's just going to look super whimsical. Love that little details of the dress. I'm going to keep walking around. And you know what? Actually, while I'm here, Let's pop out that reflector. I want to get some details of her face, so I really want to control what I'm doing with the light. So ideally, I'm going to actually have it right above her, right about here. I don't want to go under. If I go under, one, it's going to blind her a little bit. <laughs> but two, it's going to have that like up light look. That's just going to highlight all the things we don't want to. So kind of up like that. Go ahead and look down again. Kind of lean forward like you're looking towards your toes. And also because you're taller than me. <laughs> And then look up at the camera again. Beautiful. Going to switch this around as our light left us. So now I need to go to this side. Nice. Look down again. Beautiful. Love that. And I'm trying to get a little bit taller than her because I don't want the back of her head to have the the line from the tree line and the sky going right through the back of her head. So I'm trying to come up a little bit more. So I'm going to just switch this out. In general, when you're photographing a bride, try to get different angles. There we go. That's gorgeous. Look down towards the reflector right there. Stay right there and then look up towards the camera. Beautiful. That I like much better. All right. So now we have all of the static basic stuff, all the basics that we want to have. Now we play. Now we start breaking the rules. So you're going to keep your body pretty much where it is as far as the feet go. But now let's play a little bit with your hand placement. So you can just hold the flowers down this way. Maybe with the other hand, grab your veil. Nice. And then with your veil, just kind of go in and out and just play a little bit. Look down at it. Perfect. Look over at me. Love it. And then we do the same thing, but now I'm going to step back and get that full length. I'm actually going to move your dress a little bit too. So what I'll have you do, go ahead and pick up like a part of the dress. Turn a little bit this way as if you're going to start walking. Yeah. Maybe reach down and pick up a little bit more. Yes. There you go. I just love how graceful it looks. So you're going to play with this a little bit. You get to be in your wedding dress. So have fun with it. Kind of like bring it around here, bring it there. Just play a little bit. Cute. Look down at it. Love that. Bring it back and then do that one more time. I loved how you kind of went like this. Do that, but look at me. Wonderful. Good. All right. So getting a few more fun photos there. I'm going to take your bouquet just because she has a bouquet. Don't make her hold it the whole time. You don't want this in every single picture because it hides a lot of the detail of the dress. So let's take this away. And you're going to turn towards me go ahead and pick up just the front of your dress like you're going to walk and I'm actually going to have you walk. One of the best things you can do with anyone you're photographing is make them move. So take a few steps backwards. Actually, we'll start back here. You want to give a little bit of direction how they move, but moving is always going to result in a more natural photograph versus, you know, just tilt, turn, smile. Okay. Now, if she has a veil like this, at least on one side, give her some of it. 
so that it comes with her as she walks as opposed to just getting lost behind and then you don't see she had a veil at all. So the way that you're gonna walk towards me, you're gonna walk and you're gonna do head circles. You're gonna look left, look right, look up, down. And as you walk, just pretend you're on a balance beam. So you kind of just one foot after the other and it's a stroll through a park, not a run. <laughs> Although I think my camera could keep up with your running. All right, let's go ahead and give myself some more flexibility. I'm gonna go to three, two. You know what, let me actually switch just for fun to my 85, because I don't want to be stuck in the exact same focal length all the time. We want to vary it up. All right, so now I've got my 85 on. Three, two. She is going to be moving, so I want to make sure that I'm fast enough on my shutter speed to allow that to happen without motion blur. I'm going to go all the way back here. Oh, this looks so pretty. <laughs> All right, go ahead and just start walking. Love that. Look down, look left. Beautiful. Look at me. Good. Perfect. Ah, oh, and the wind cue Beyonce hair. <laughs> Gorgeous. So you're going to turn around. You're going to walk away from me and you're going to do the exact same thing. Photographers, it is so easy to forget to photograph the back of a bride's dress. So if you have her walk towards you, Make sure you have her walk away from you. So go ahead, just start walking away from me. Love that. Stop there and look back at me over your shoulder. Perfect. Do that again over the other shoulder. Cute. And then go ahead, walk a little bit more. Right there. Oh, stop right there for a second. I love what her veil is doing. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of help. Take a little step to your left. Sometimes when you see spots, you might as well just play with it a little bit. Take one step forward. There you go. I want the, the veil to pull, the dress to pull, because that is a lot of fun. And look all the way to your left. Nice right there. That looks awesome. And then look down towards your shoulder. Yep. Love that. Stay right there. Always good to get some foreground in here. And then look over your shoulder at me. Perfect. Nice. All right. And then the last thing we're going to do, you're going to turn all the way back around towards me. So we have all of our basics done. And now we're just going to play a little bit. I'm going to give you your veil on either side. All right, and you're gonna play with it. So you're gonna, you can do like nice and graceful this way, but think like kind of wrapping and maybe wrapping that way. Maybe put your hands up around holding the veil this way. We get, yeah, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Who doesn't want to play with their veil? <laughs> nice. And always talking to people, because if you stop talking, it's super awkward. I loved actually, you did something kind of fun. You kind of went this way. So do that again, yep, but yeah, see how it fell? I'm gonna bring that a little bit more this way and then look down, kind of bring this uh, hand up above your head. Yes, and then a little bit less so I can let this fall right there. And I think, and then look down this direction right there. Love this. Let me see. Oh, bring that hand down. Can I get more veil if I do that? Yes. Okay. So bring that up again. Kind of bring it, yeah, right there. And then looking down that way. And then look at me. Love it. Look down directly in front of you. There we go. Gorgeous. All right, so we have what we were doing outside. Let's go ahead inside to show you what I would do as my typical bridal portrait inside and a nice silhouette. I hope you're enjoying this video and I have something absolutely free for you. If you head down to the links below, you'll see a lot of educational content, but you will also see a download for a free preset. This is a Lightroom preset that I use very frequently for my same day edits and my photos and I call it green to yellow. You can grab that in the link below. Now back to the video. It's one of the key things to do with a bride is put them in a silhouette, but you have to be very particular about how you pose that. 
otherwise it's not gonna look very flattering. So we have her set right in the middle of this gorgeous window. Ideally, we would turn off the lights in the room, uh, but I don't think we know how. Wait, hold on. Oh, look at that, we do know how. All right, so first thing you're gonna do, Juliana, is lean on one leg, so to the right or to the left. Nice, and right away, that helps her look amazing. But we're gonna accentuate it a little bit more. I know I want her to face out, so what I'll have you do, Juliana, is turn a little bit to your left. Yep, and just doing that alone is gonna end up giving her more of a waistline, nice hourglass figure, and then you're gonna turn your shoulders back towards the window. So we have this kind of tilt and turn going on right there. Another thing to do, make sure you fluff the dress. Sounds silly, but with any dress, you wanna make sure that it looks amazing in a silhouette shot, because it's really gonna show off the detail here. And then we have a veil, but it's also gonna help give shape to her. You know, this veil is super heavy. I'm gonna let you hold this, Juliana, real quick while I fluff your actual dress. So you're leaning on your one leg, hips kind of facing towards the left, and then turning your shoulders back towards the window. There we go. This looks awesome. And then the last thing I always tell them to do, which she's already doing, is you kind of hold your acorn. So you just <laughs> pretend like you're holding a little piece of something right in front of you. And the idea is that you have this space that's between her waist and her shoulders. Uh, hold your acorn a little bit lower. All right, I actually like them holding a little bit lower like that because it gives the obtuse angle on the elbow, which is much more graceful, versus go ahead and go back up. Then this, which is more of a right angle, which is symbolizing more of strength. So the body language, Makes a difference. All right, go ahead and lower it down. So now she's all types of graceful. I'm gonna come get this first photo. Just kind of getting her as is, looking out the window. Wonderful. And go ahead and turn all your head all the way to the left, Juliana. So it's nice to be able to get a little profile here. Beautiful. Go ahead and bring your shoulders all the way up to your ears and then let them go. Really easy way to get someone to relax. <laughs> Juliana's good at this, but for all of you watching, you're not photographing, photographing gorgeous models usually. That looks beautiful. All right, so now let's change this up a little bit, get a little bit more motion, a little bit more grace in there. What you'll do, Juliana, just grab your veil and you're gonna play with it a little bit. So you're gonna kind of go like up, down, you could do them both hands at the same time, but just move your hands in and out. You could even like sway them from right to left. There you go, beautiful. So ideally, if you can, always ask your clients to move versus pose. So you actually do that really nicely. I love when you have the left one moving, perfect. And then move your head around. So like look down, look yes, perfect. Awesome. Yes, we're gonna have fun with this veil today. All right, so there we go. Now I wanna get into my signature shot, at least as I call it. Uh, Juliana has the most gorgeous blue eyes in the entire world, so this might be my favorite one I've ever taken. All right, you're gonna sit right there. That's gonna be your spot. Now, I'm not gonna photograph her actually seated. Ah, you know what? This is a horrible spot to place her. Let me show you why. So the sun is coming in and hitting the dress, and that's gonna reflect up right underneath her, which is gonna give her that kind of ghoul type lighting. And we don't want that, so you're gonna switch spots. <laughs> there we go. Now we can have this coming through. We actually have a little bit of backlight. The light on her face looks awesome. And I'm gonna go change a lens because I really wanna photograph this at one two. So I'm gonna go get 15 to 85. Key to this, at least with this camera, is making sure you have eye detect on because I'm gonna be holding her veil with one hand and the camera with the other. So let's get the exposure right on her first. You're so pretty. <laughs> That's so fun. All right, exposure looks pretty good. White balance looks awesome. And I'm loving the fact that these blue uh, curtains behind her literally match your eyes perfectly. <laughs> So that is great. This is gonna act like my own personal 
studio. I'm gonna bring it for a little bit just to diffuse the light ever so slightly. And this is yellow, so it's gonna have a little bit of yellow light, but I'm going to turn my white balance down, cool it down ever so slightly, just to compensate for the difference. Not a ton, just a little bit. Now I do wanna shoot this at 1.2, which is great. I'm keeping my shutter speed pretty high so that I don't have camera shake. There is in body stabilization here, but I know I'll get a little camera shake after holding this for quite a bit, but I'm all the way down at ISO 250. So this is, this is a good starting point. All right, let's play with the veil. So I'm gonna like come under here with you. <laughs> oh, this has such great detail in it, which does make it a little bit difficult as far as laying goes, we'll be able to do a few really pretty things with it. Cathedral veils are nice. I do like them over my head because then at least half the weight is back here. And then I'm just playing with like what portion of it I can see. So in order to do this correctly, as far as posing Juliana, what you want to do, lean forward a little bit this way, a little bit more. You can actually put your hands on your knees so that you can come forward a little bit more. You're going to put your head down like you're looking towards that right there. Perfect. Just hang there first. And then go ahead, look up at me. Nice. Chin up a little bit. Love that. And then big cheesy smile. Nice. Keep your head a little bit more that way. That looks great. And then you can put your eyes down first. That looks awesome. And then look up at me again. Perfect. And close your eyes. And then you're going to take a deep breath through your mouth and relax your mouth so you get more of a serious look and turn your head kind of back where I had you looking that way there and then breathe your mouth again and then look up at me gorgeous love it so that's a nice easy way now Juliana's very good at all expressions but if you have someone that is not so great at the serious look that's a nice way to just get them to relax close their eyes breathe through their mouth so that they open their mouth just a little bit and then look up at you. All right, let's get some nap. Okay, I'm gonna actually have you hold this like this. Yeah, and then look down right there. Just getting your eyeball and then look up at me and kind of smirk. Perfect. Do that one more time. Is your shoulder hurt? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then look down again and then up again perfect so that is how you pose a bride remember your basic rules remember that s curve turn and of course once you know the rules make sure you break them so that's how you pose a bride i'm vanessa joy